Dr. Dennis, do you think it should be rescheduled? 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. And I think across the board in medicine, you'll find a lot of clinicians who would agree with that notion that if we can reclassify it and if we can start to study it and better understand the properties of it, because it is a very complex mm -hmm. concentration of chemicals. It's not just one molecule like a drug would be. And and I, I recognize there is some some concern about the synergy of it, meaning that multiple medications need to be present for there to be value. But unless we have the ability to be, start studying this, how would we ever know what combination of those medications are needed, what concentrations are needed uh, to get the best out of it without with minimizing the, the risks? So there was a question that came in specifically for you, Dr. Mazumdust. Uh, they ask, should patients be jailed for consuming or possessing <coughs> cannabis? If no, how should Kentucky regulate it? The federal government is passing the buck and supports patients being jailed, end quote. So I, I would defer that to some of my uh, legal, mm -hmm. co legal colleagues, but uh, you know, there, there are stratifications that you could you could look at. There's decriminalization. Mm -hmm. There's um, use of it as an intoxicant. There's uh, medical medicalization. My my position is that if we're going to call something medicine, then it needs to go through the rigors that we go through when we give medicine. Otherwise, we're marginalizing what it means to to be a physician. We're marginalizing what medicine stands for, because when you call something medicine, you're connoting a level of evidence behind it and a level of safety, uh, which, which until we can kind of come to consensus on as a medical community, it would be, it would be uh, undermining the notion of what a medicine is in the, in the minds of the public.